Don't judge a book by its cover. That's a little bullshit. They say don't judge a book by its cover, but we all know we're going to judge it anyways. I like to think people complain too much about life. I mean, how bad can it actually be? More teens die from suicide than any other thing. It's the second leading cause of death and for what? I always thought there was a good reason not wanting to exist anymore. Until I looked in the mirror. I didn't always want to kill myself. Most of my life I didn't mind life. One day it just got old. When I was six, I was diagnosed with something called ugliest, most hideous person in the world. Why couldn't you just terrible. be normal? Both my parents packed up and left me. The keys to the boat are in the drawer. That was the last piece of advice I got. You're too ugly to stay here for now. So, here's some paper for you to read so you can get smarter. Also, you need the jacket back. It's too expensive for you. Yeah, thanks. I took up reading the newspaper. It was interesting. Being home alone was nice and I got to do what I wanted to, but after a while it got old. I was lonely. I was home alone for the rest of my life. I was so lonely I had to make up a friend. I named him Andy. Hey. Hey. Uh, this would be a normal everyday thing until one day. I gotta get out of here. I just can't be seen with you. Okay. Andy was right. I didn't even try to stop him. I needed to move on or stop moving at all. I used to think suicide was pointless because it's never that bad. My life was that bad. People can't see past what I look like. At that point, I figured I had had enough. Her name was Apple. I don't know what Appling was doing outside my house, but she wasn't throwing eggs or making stories of me. It seems she didn't even notice that she was right in front of a haunted house. I decided to go out and meet her. Uh, I'm Frank. I'm Appling. I had a crush on Appling since the moment I hanged myself. We hung out for a long time and she didn't seem to want to leave me. I didn't know why. We got to know each other over those days. She told me that her dad was the head of the police district and that he might be looking for her and she didn't care. She wanted to be with me. Appleen convinced me to go out of the house again. Do you ever go outside? Not anymore. Do you want to go for a walk? Grab your chance, otherwise time won't wait. It always flies, life is flashing before your eyes. So live it up. Idealize. Don't stop the dad was looking for her and he wouldn't be happy when he found me. I didn't want to leave Appleine. She was the only person who could see past my ugly self, but again, I didn't want to be in trouble with her dad. I need to take you home. No, I want to stay. Appleine, please. Fine. Yeah. That was the night I found out that Appleine was blind. It's hard when you've been accepted from society, only to find out that they didn't even notice you. It wasn't Appleine's fault she was blind. It wasn't that she didn't care about how I looked. She didn't know how I looked. If she had, she wouldn't have been with me. Maybe I stopped feeling happy for a while with Appleine. I didn't know if she ever noticed. She didn't even understand how hideous I was. Have you always been blind? I'm blind? Yes, very. Uh, I guess I've been blind all my life. You know you can stay with me if you want. Really? Yeah, I don't want you getting hurt out there. I couldn't let her out alone. She could be hurt.
Dear Frank, it's your parents. We have decided to stop funding for the house. Very soon you will be evicted from the home. Have a good day. We gotta go. This had made everything leave this house, including me, and that could be good. A fresh start with Apolline. So, you can't see anything? Nothing. Apolline, I need to tell you something. When I was younger, I was diagnosed with the ugliest, most hideous person in the world. What's that? I'm so ugly, even my parents left me. My imaginary friend left me too. That's sad. I bet if I could see, you wouldn't be ugly. I think I could see past a face. If I could see. If you could see, were, were you born blind? My dad told me I wasn't. He said there was an accident when I was a kid, but I don't remember. Was your dad always a cop? He was a stay-at-home dad. He was really protective of me. Last week was the first time I went out of the house. That's how I ended up to you. The stars are in your eyes I'll take a spaceship and try and go and find you All was good and fun until one day What's wrong? You've been evicted Why don't we just go back to our old house? We were evicted from there too Not really Your parents said we'd be evicted very soon That doesn't mean immediately It felt good to be home even though I was sad, I couldn't be alone on the boat. This was my home. I asked Apolline to help me unpack, but she wasn't much help. Where's me daughter? I tried to explain to him that I hadn't kidnapped Apolline, but she wanted to be with me. Her dad didn't listen because no one wants to be with a monster. I was too scary. Apolline's dad said if I didn't give her over, he would have to shoot me. I didn't want to hurt him, but then again, something came to mind. Apolline wanted to stay with me, even if I was a monster. She was that blind. I couldn't give up Apo- Just like butterflies, or the key to paradise. Life's out there flashing before your eyes. Getting shot hurts, and this sounds very cliche, but he shot me in the heart, literally breaking it. Apolline's dad ended up making her take her, her back home. That made her the last person to leave me in my life. My parents, Andy, my friends, and Apolline. Everyone in my life had left me. If you wanted to have a happy ending, maybe you shouldn't sympathize with a the monster. There will never. I heard a loud bang. Is everything okay? No, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, well, uh, have a nice night. You're not scared of me? Why would I be? In my face. What about it? You're not scared of me? No, I think you look cool. You want to come in for some coffee or something? That was Martha and Pete. That's, uh, that's they were my, my neighbors. I liked them. Name Neither of them were blind. Apolline was, and that was okay. In a way, she could still see me without looking at me. She knew me. I never saw Apolline again. I never saw Andy again, and I never saw my parents again. And in a way, that was okay. I was going to be okay. The committed, they asked me to be the one to pick the band to play the prom. I said I want a Frankenstein. They said the Frankenstein.